name is Randy Mendez. I'm originally from California and I did my undergrad at Oregon State University and now I'm here at University of Connecticut um, in the graduate program for environmental engineering and I study uh, metals and wetlands. I try to figure out patterns that you might see when they do react to help with uh, making systems such as like treatment wetlands and remediation processes more efficient. Hi, I'm Dave. I'm a PhD student in chemical engineering at the University of Connecticut. I work over here at C2E2, or the Center for Clean Energy Engineering, and I work on conversion of biomass to fuel. C2E2 is a top-of-the-line facility. We can make a material and look at every single aspect of it, from surface area to crystallinity to porosity. We just got a brand new $1.5 million microscope that we're really excited to use. That'll give us a 3D image of a material on the nanoscale. My name is Lexi Hain. I am a PhD student here at UConn in structural engineering, uh, so that's within civil engineering. I work specifically with bridges, and my research is focused on a new kind of bridge column. I've started a company and gotten a startup grant, so that's UConn's helped facilitate that. Being able to have advisors that have so much industry experience and then come in and they're helping us with our startup companies and how we can be successful has been something that has probably been my favorite part of being here. My name is Marianne Pardakti. I'm a fourth year PhD student. My research is focusing on material screening uh, using machine learning. I'm kind of connecting uh, different areas of uh, research like material science, chemistry, chemical engineering, and computer science all together. We have uh, very good facilities in our lab, but I prefer to do it uh, and some Yukon supercomputers. It is faster, easier, and more convenient. My name is Taufik Arikan. I'm originally from Nigeria. Um, I did my undergrad in Southern Police State University in Georgia. And um, after my undergrad, I decided to come to Yukon. I love basketball very much. When I decided to go to uh, do my graduate studies, uh, UConn was number one on my list. Uh, for my research, um, I actually uh, developed a system it's called Smart Wave Energy Converter. And what the system does is uh, it uses the wave of the ocean to generate power. And the, the reason why we call it Smart is because uh, the system has the ability to connect to underwater vehicles like uh, AUV. Hi, my name is Deborah Dorsmith and I am a biomedical engineer at the University of Connecticut and I am getting my graduate degree in the field of tissue and regenerative engineering. My lab is actually at the University of Connecticut Health Center and my research is in the field of osteochondral tissue regeneration and I started doing the research in uh, regenerative engineering in my senior year of college um, and then I rolled into getting a master's and then a PhD. Moving forward I became a part of NSBE and that's a National Society of Black Engineers and you don't have to be black or an engineer to be a part of NSBE but it's another program or organization that's near and dear to my heart. We also have a great uh, graduate student organization uh, for the Department of Engineering called SAGE. Uh, they do a lot of really great events and especially around the holidays it's fun to, to mix with people and get out of lab for a little while. The nice thing about stores is it's kind of centrally located in the sense that it's close to pretty much anything so yeah you could go into Hartford into the city for the day for the evening if you wanted to. You could take a trip to Boston which is only about like an hour to an hour and a half away um, or you can even go to New Haven and catch a train into New York. Hartford's a cool city too. They've got a lot of good breweries, City Steam. Uh, they just got a new baseball team which is really awesome. The Yard Goats, Go Goats. We went to a few games last year. It's really nice to have that metropolitan area. It's so close. I've been involved with 
many workshops at Yukon, so I know how important it is to be able to communicate with other people. Their ice cream. I love the ice cream here. I'm so, <laughs> don't even get me to how passionate I am about the ice cream here. Yukon's getting huge. Yeah, they have so many different things. Yukon's on its food game. It's doing a good job. A lot of my peers come from both Yukon and from all over the world. It's a really diverse group of people that I get to work with. I'm growing as a person, as a scientist. I'm very happy to be here. Very happy. I, I can't express my happiness about Yukon.